February, the month of love. Not just for your other half, but for your family as well. Why not show them that you love them? But are they too far away from you and you can't hug them? Why not send them a hug in a box? Oh, and I'm going to show you how I made it. February, the first video of the month. <laughs> but, ah, the month of love. <laughs> we always talk about Valentine's Day and just sharing, you know, moments with the other half. But what about if we show our family and friends that we love them and we think about them? So, there we go. Hug in a box. <gasps> Let me show you. Ah, Ta-da! Mm. Hugging a box. The reason why I'm sniffing it is because it's full of lavender. Ta-da! Oh my god. Don't don't you just love lavender? It just warms you up and I just love the feel of it. So in this video, I'm going to show you how I made this. But before I get on to showing you, I just want to let you know why I came up with this idea. Um, I've lost my mum a little, like a few years ago now. And when I was clearing the garage, I found loads of yarn that she had because she was um, a creative soul like me and she loved watching me making stuff, hence the reason why I do all of this. It keeps me close to her and it keeps her memory alive, which I absolutely love. After she passed, it was during the lockdowns and everything else, so I couldn't go and see my family. I was missing my friends. So what I thought is like, why do, why not use the yarn that I found from my mum's stash and just make something for everybody so i made all these hearts and decorate them and then stuff them with lavender it was just so that everybody could have a little piece of my mum so that's it that's how i came about but in this video i've expanded it and i made the box as well <laughs> oh it's so cool i'm loving it but i'm gonna show you I've watched a lot of um, crochet videos and I learned crochet on YouTube, which is amazing. There's a lot of amazing people. So um, it's going to be a US terminology, but all you need is a single crochet. I try to make it as simple as possible. I don't think the way I'm going to show you how to make the heart, I've never seen it before doing it by anybody else. But I would like your help to make me understand whether it makes it easier or it doesn't. So your feedback is very much appreciated. So please let me know if you find it easy or not. I've broken it down into rounds so you can go backwards and forward. If you have to stop and you need to go back to that point, you will know where to go. So I've done it that way and I'm trying to make it as easy as possible. I hope it's going to be easy to follow, but you will be the judge of that. <laughs> but let's stop faffing about and let's get on with what you need and what I've used to make this. For the heart, I've used mm, loads of yarn, but you can use, it doesn't take a lot of um, yarn to, to do it. So you can use any leftover that you've got and use any colours. To make the size it is, which is about uh, 10 by 9, there or thereabouts, um, I've used iron wool, which, and it's, it looks like the weight is meant to be a medium. Yep, yeah, it's a medium weight or iron in the UK. And you need, it says in here that you need a crochet hook of five millimeters, but I've used a four millimeter one. Ooh. I've used a four millimeter hook because I want it all nice and closed tight without many holes because as I said, mm, lavender, 
I absolutely love it. And he just, yeah, it's so soothing and relaxing. And for me, it is a hug. <laughs> ah, it's like mm, giving somebody a hug, a little bit of lavender. And most of it comes from my garden, oh, which is lovely. It's only tiny, but <laughs> I've got loads of lavender, which I love. Then to make the box, um, I made the box myself, but you can buy the boxes or you can also use little boxes that you can find already made, like this little bag, which is very cute, or also like craft bags, because you can decorate them as you want. And I, I just find them really, really lovely. And it gives it that rustic look, which is oh, so cute, so, so cute. Um. In this video, I'm not going to show you how I made the box, but I'm going to put the link in the description for the template, just in case you would like to make it yourself. This is a 250 grams card, craft card, and it's so lovely to use. And I scored it with a little bit of a um, um, sharp tool, or you can use the head of, um, of a crochet hook, and but I can give you the template of like putting the box together. You've got, you need a selection of ribbons, depending on how many hearts you want to make, some twine, but you can use anything that you have. Um, you can use anything to decorate the heart and to decorate the box as you want it and do the tag. And also I've invested on some poppers. Oh, I love them. I'm gonna pop everything and look, So to, to close the box, I've just used those little poppers. Ta -da! And they come on in different colours. The box had so many of them. There were about 25. But I'm going to do different style boxes. And this little label, I made it with the leftovers from the box. And oh my God, I don't know if you've seen it, but recently I built the Roco printing press. And I've used that to make this, which is so cool. I absolutely love it. But you can use stamps or anything that you want. Let's stop faffing about. Grab a cup of tea and crochet with me a lovely heart.
Let's join the two halves. Don't panic, it's actually gonna be really easy. So we take the half with the long tail, we insert the crochet hook onto the first stitch and we uh, put it onto the second half and the 12th stitch where the stitch marker is and we proceed to do a single crochet. And also what I do, I move the stitch marker to the stitch before and then we joining with another single crochet on this, the next stitch. And then what I do, I put the stitch markers onto the next stitch on both halves. This is because otherwise it leaves a gap, but you will see later how we're gonna make sure that there's gonna be no gap. And then bind off in the middle and job done. And we've just connected the two halves with no sewing, no hassle, and we know what we're gonna be doing on the next uh, row. <laughs> At this point, you can count the stitches that you've got, and that is 11, including the two stitch markers. And then you need to start from where the hook is and count another 11, including the stitch marker, and the same on the other side. Obviously, you need to have the same amount of stitches. So it's 11 plus 11, 22 and then 22 on the other side. And then you proceed single crocheting all the way around. But when you get to the joining bit, we are going to do, we're gonna crochet two stitches together, but using the stitch um, where you joined. So you're gonna see in a minute, we're gonna get That's it. So on that stitch, we're gonna do, we're gonna insert the hook into that stitch and then onto the one that we used for joining. So you got three hoops on your hook and then you join it all together. So that should help us avoid having a gap. Well, that will help us not having a gap.
Okay, here we're not going to use a stitch marker because as you can see, it's getting a little bit too tight. So just make sure that you count the stitches. You need to do six decrease, so you're going to have six stitches. And also, I've been using my finger to help me to go in and out of the stitches. I found it really helpful, so hopefully it's going to help you too. the heart ha <laughs> ha I don't know you ah but I can't stop sniffing it <laughs> I just love lavender and ah mm, it's so comforting mm, it is a hug and a heart mm. but anyway <laughs> sorry get distracted <laughs> ah, so we've got a heart I made the box the box, it's really snug, which I love. I just wanted it to be like that. So now we're going to be ready to decorate our, our heart and the box. Let's do the heart first. What I've done, I made this little um, flower. I made a video about all, how to make these little flowers. They're so easy and like they're very, very simple. And you can check out the, the link to the video somewhere here. There, there, <laughs> one or the other. <laughs> so I made a little flower and I made it with the thinner wool, with the thinner yarn, and then you pull it close together and this is it. And then what I'm going to do, I'm going to put that, you can either sew it, but I'm going to glue it because it's going to be easier and quicker and I'm going to try to make it as tidy as possible. And then I'm going to put, this little button, oh, so cute, it says I'm made with love. <gasps> Absolutely love it. <laughs> I really like it. And then we're going to be adding, I've got these little tiny, tiny hearts and stars. But I'm going to be, that wood, by the way. I'm going to be putting this little heart at the end of the tail. Because I'm not going to cut it and then I'm just going to do a little knot. And then I'm going to cut it. And I've got little mini tags. Oh, so cute. And I'm going to write hug on this. And a little heart on the side. See, when I made it for my family and friends, I struggled because at least in English is hug and it's so short. In Italian is abbraccio. Jeez, oh, that was a bit too long on a little tag like this. While I'm waiting for my hot glue to warm up, I'm going to do the little tag for the outside of the box. There we go. And I'm going to get 
this pink twine. And job done. And that is gonna be on the box outside. And let's use pink for the little button as well. And to help me to make sure that that doesn't fray, I'm gonna put a little bit of PVA glue at the bottom at the end and seal it. And I'm gonna do the same on the other side. It's just so it's gonna be easier to get it through the holes of the bottom. So let's go through there. And through the other side. Ta-da! Easy peasy. We tie a little knot and we cut the excess. We attach the little heart. Be very careful not to burn yourself. And then we add the little hug tug. This is elastic, so what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna make it smaller and cut the excess. Oh, a heart is ready. What do you think? Oh my God. I just, I cannot stop sniffing it. Not a chance. <laughs> ah, but there we go. So the heart is ready. Now let's prepare the box. And first of all, what I'm going to do, I'm going to print heart hug in a box with my Rocker Classic printing press. <gasps> oh, I built it recently and I absolutely love it. And I want to do projects more and more and more. <laughs> There we go, and the label is done. And we are going to glue the label onto here. Just a little bit of PVA glue. So whilst that is drying, let's prepare the bottom bit. These are my ribbons, and for this one, I'm gonna use red. Ooh. Let's try to find pretty much the middle and I'm going to glue the ribbon. I'm going to put some glue there. That's it. And I'm not going to put it in the centre because otherwise it's going to cover the label. So I'm going to put it a little bit further down and just there. Hopefully. Hopefully straight. <laughs> uh, if you watched any of my other videos, you know I just do things by eye and on measure. Oh well. Brilliant. So that's done. And what I'm going to do, I'm going to put it inside. We're going to put the popper in there. So I'm going to measure where the popper is going to go, which I think it's going to be in the middle there. And I'm going to try to pierce both sides at the same time. I only want the ribbon. Don't want to go through the, through the box. And then, oh my God, this is so much fun. We need two of these, one of them, and one of these. So this is gonna be on top of that, that's gonna be on top of that, and then with this, we squash them together. And ta-da! we got a popper. <gasps> oh, look at it. Look at this. 
nice. Then we trim the end bits. So it's gonna go like this. What we're gonna do I'm gonna make a bow so I get a little more more ribbon yeah I think like that yeah that will work so I cut it there and then I'm going to have a little bit of um, twine it doesn't matter what color because it's gonna be covered <laughs> And I've got a selection of um, sizes for the buttons. So I'm going to decide. I've decided to go for the medium. Oh, so cute. Oh my god, it's time to put the heart inside. And you can hold it like this. <gasps> and it opens. Um, you could put a little bit of tissue paper inside or a little bit of like the material when you do like create hampers and stuff. Ah, possibilities are endless. It's just just the limit is your imagination, really, and how you want to decorate it. Um, you can use whatever to decorate the heart. But I do think that this is going to be a lovely thing for your loved ones to receive. Oh, and... Ta-da! Oh, my God! I love it. And I made so many. See which one you like. So there's the red one. And then I made this, and then I made this. There's so many different versions that you can do. And I made this, and I made this. Do you have a favorite? I forgot my label. Oh my God. I hope you've enjoyed this video and if you have why not give me the thumbs up it really helps the channel to grow and also I buy all of the materials that I use in my videos and I'm not sponsored by anybody so if you feel like you want to support me there's now the availability to just give me some thanks super thanks join me in the chat with super chats and I super appreciate it and I super love you <laughs> oh but ah, uh, I really hope you've enjoyed it. And if you have, why not subscribe and hit the bell as well? So you can receive notifications on when my next video is out. Ah, uh, I'm very happy with these. Also, just let me know if you did crochet with me and just make the heart. Let me know how you got on and let me know if it made it easier for you. I would love to have a feedback so then I know for like future crochet videos. Ah! Thank you so much for watching. Take care for now. Bye bye.